Hello, Turbo Boy. For today's lesson, we are going to learn about punctuation. We'll be learning about capital letters, the full stop, and the comma. Let's look at capital letters first. Here is a list of all the capital letters in English. There are three uses for capital letters. Firstly, when we write a sentence, the first letter of the first word must be a capital letter. Look at this example. There is a big pond outside our cottage. It is big and deep. There and it are the first words of the sentences. So we must write T and I in capital letters. Secondly, we always write the word I with capital letter I. In the comic strip, Trickaloo writes, Although we have only been here for two days, I miss the farm. Even though I is not the first letter in the sentence, we must always write it in capital letters. Finally, we also use capital letters for writing the first letter of names of people, days of the week, months of the year, festive events, places, and special events. Turbo Boy, can you please read these examples? Please pay attention to the capital letters. You should visit Mrs. Claudia or Mr. Henry. The June school holiday is coming to an end, and we have to go back to school on Monday. Since Teacher's Day is coming, students from farm school are planning to perform a dance for the teachers. Mrs. Claudia and Mr. Henry are names of people. June is a month of the year, while Monday is a day of the week. Teacher's Day is a special event, and farm school is a place. That is why the first letter of these words are in capital letters. Can I write? Our school holidays start next week. No, Turbo Boy. You cannot write that because school holidays are not public holidays. We use capital letters only for public holidays. So you should write, our school holiday starts next week. Let's now look at the full stop. We write a full stop at the end of every sentence. For example, I have been eating so much. The next punctuation mark that we are going to learn is the comma. This is how we write the comma. We use the comma when we write things in a list. For example, please say hello for me when you see Mrs. Claudia, Mr. Henry, Mr. Schlieb, and our classmates. We put a comma in between the names. We do not need to put a comma before the last name in the list. We also use the comma when we write to someone directly. For example, How are you, Ricky? Turbo Boy, can you understand everything that you have learned today? Sure, teacher. We learned about capital letters, the full stop and the comma. There are three uses of capital letters. Firstly, the first letter of the first word in a sentence must be a capital letter. For example, there is a big pond outside our cottage. T is the first letter 
of the first word in the sentence. So it must be capital T. Secondly, we always use the capital letter I for the word I. Thirdly, the first letter of names of people, days of the week, months of the year, festive events, special events, and places must be in capital letters. Next, we learned that we always use a full stop at the end of every sentence. For example, I have been eating too much. We use the comma when we write things in a list or write to someone directly. For example, How are you, Ricky? Good job, double boy.